Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a great and wonderful day. Well, we're going to be talking about on how police takeovers are being a huge rabbit problem in California and how the far left want to make it legal for these street takeovers. Now, don't get me wrong. I love having racing and going on to the, the racing and doing all that great stuff, but within obviously legal means and perhaps going to a drag strip to where, you know, that's where it's legal good to go and do. And if they think this is car culture, which we're going to get into, they're all completely stupid because that's just not the reality. Here's what we have here with the current street takeovers and the problems that's plaguing Los Angeles, not just all LA, but California in general, and it's going to be a wild ride, so take a look. Town LA turns into an inferno after things get out of hand. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is in downtown LA where last night cars were even lit on fire. You don't have to go far to see the damage from this takeover. Right behind me right away, the first thing you notice is just the tire marks from the cars doing donuts on the intersection here. And then at another part of it, you can see the asphalt just charred and look at all that glass. Now, this has been an ongoing problem with California, with the police takeover, or not the police takeovers, but car takeovers, street takeovers, because Obviously, they just don't do anything. Now, you're going to see something here where a guy is going to come in, one of the head guys, go and say, like, oh, well, it's not, it's due to the fact we are doing something, right? And they're not really doing anything. I'm going to be showing that because, again, this is a huge issue. And as you can see here, this is just not something that is great. They literally set this on fire. They caught. They luckily no injuries were made or what have you. But there wasn't even any any kind of arrests that were were done. And this is just the insanity of what we have here in California, where we uh, just have constant street takeovers happen. It's happened in obviously in Austin, Texas as well, another Democratic stronghold. And the Democrats don't do anything about this. They just let this happen time and time and time again. This wild video looks like a scene out of a movie, but it's not. It's a street takeover that turned into an inferno in downtown Los Angeles. LAPD says it happened at the intersection of 18th and Main just before 3 Saturday morning. Over 50 cars converged near the freeway underpass, and police say at least two were intentionally set on fire. Explosions heard as the cars burned to the ground. Traffic backed up around the corner with drivers trying to dodge the flames. Council member Kevin DeLeon says this happening in his district is unacceptable. So it angers me because it puts other people in danger. So what this guy says really gets grinds my gears, really gets me angry because he says, oh, we're going to go do something. Oh, this makes me angry. Well, here's the thing. You haven't been doing anything for, I don't know, months to years now because this has been an ongoing thing. Here, take a look at this. We have this here from NBC Los Angeles. Hundreds gather at the street takeovers in San Fernando. This was June 21st, 2024. Again, we have another one from the Los Angeles Times. LA City Council seeks to reach to rein in street takeovers. This is February 6, 2024. And then we have street take races takeovers on the rise in early 2024. And this was June 17th, 2024. Drew police respond to several street takeovers in Compton. This is January 31st, 2024. And then and then KTLA, police cleared two separate overnight takeovers in Santa Reno, uh, 20, uh, 28th, 20, May 28th, 2024. And that is the problem that we have here, guys. See, all these are all from this year. Just this year. This is not talking about the street takeovers that were happening last year. And then if we go here again, and we go look at this, it says video shows illegal Oakland street takeover with cars on fire. Well, again, if we go look at this, we say hey, no word of any arrests were made in this incident. That's from the Oakland one. Then if we go to here to we police respond to several street takeovers in Compton, South LA amid a crackdown, it says here that, uh, oh, that no arrests were made. And then, if we go and do this one, right, guys? Uh, fireworks and sparks fly as hundreds gather at street takeovers in the San Fernando Valley. And again, no injuries, arrests, or citations were reported at the most recent street takeovers. So, I don't know what this guy is talking about here. Because what we're seeing is a constant amount of people 
doing these street takeovers and none of them being held accountable for it. None of them being arrested. So I really want this guy to explain to me onto why he's all of a sudden now talking about t handling and tracking down on street takeovers when they were plaguing the entire, not the, practically the entire state, if not your entire city for months to years now and you have just now decided to do something. I don't think you're serious about this because if you were, you would have taken effort for it. The only reason why I think you were doing this is because it got it got made a huge media outcry and there was a fire involved. But again, <laughs> you guys just don't do anything. You you proceed to do nothing when it matters. Just a few weeks ago, at another downtown takeover, gunshots were fired. Police found shell casings but made no arrests. There is a task force made up of L.A. County Sheriff's deputies, California Highway Patrol, and Los Angeles Police Department officers dedicated to finding and stopping takeovers. DeLeon says on July 1st, more funds will be allocated to that force. We actually have reduced the number of street takeovers uh, in L.A., but in particular in downtown Los Angeles. But nonetheless, it has not completely, you know, come to. No, again, this guy is lying here. As I said before, no arrests were made at all, period. Out of all the street takeovers in the past half a year, at least in our country, you are, you are in California, you have done no arrests. There were no arrests, or at least there were no arrests reported at the current time. So again, this man here is lying. He's just straight up lying to you. And don't get fooled by him. Because if they were actually going to go do something, they would put these people in jail. They wouldn't be going out and being free. And oh, by the way, how about all the California DAs that are releasing people on early bonds or not putting them in jail. This is all your guys' fault. You caused this, and now you're gaslighting the American people because, or not the American people, but the Californians and the people in that city because you were actively doing nothing. But Damien Kevitt with Streets Are For Everyone thinks another approach could work. More holistically, not, not necessarily just from a enforcement perspective, which is a tool, but also, how do we provide areas where this can be done legally? How do we um, do education? Meet General Idiot here. General Idiot. This guy right here, yes. This Damon Kevin guy, where it is, does for streets for, are for everyone. Yes, it's a literal organization. Take a look at here. Streets are for everyone. Dumbest thing on the planet. And uh, he is advocating for to legalize crime that on the streets by cars. Now, how does this make any bloody sense here? This is the reason why I say LA is a forgotten city. It should just fall into the abyss of, of damnation where it belongs because if you have idiots like, he, like this, where, you know, they're advocating for more violence on the streets, more, more, uh, uh, and are wanting to legalize uh, people doing spin outs, causing traffic jams, fires, and all these other sorts of crime on the street. Well, I guess you just have a city that's forgotten. And don't let's not forget, this is not the only idiot here. He is just a small fraction of the idiots. Here's the actual board of directors. Yeah, these are the people that are also advocating for it, along with their other whole bunch of slew of people that are also advocating for treats for everyone. So at this point, I don't see to where it could be entirely on the other guy's fault, where the guy is, you know, saying, oh, well, you know, uh, we need to fix this problem when we have people like this, this Damien I Kevin idiot guy, where he's going out and saying, oh, well, it's supposed to be for everyone. Let's allow street mayhem to happen, where people can have shootings, where people can have uh, fires, set cars on fire, where we can have, uh, uh, where people can do donuts and cause crashes and mayhem. Uh, let's just legalize all of this because it's for everyone. The complete brain rot and insanity 
from these people is completely out of the... Uh, it doesn't make any fathomable sense. This is the reason why these California needs to be taken out and driven out to see if we have idiots that are thinking like this. This is completely insane in every regard. I, I cannot believe... He, these people, these people here, right here, that you see, right here, are advocating for the same thing that ju you just saw, this right here, to continue. It's insanity. Police say when they got to the scene of this most recent takeover, the crowd scattered. No arrests were made, and despite the massive fire, no one got hurt. And the big point of all of this as well is that, again, the police have been defunded in California, uh, and... Honestly, the police would could try to do something. They can try to break up things. They can try to do their best. But if they can't, you know, do anything because the DAs are just going to release them, then there's nothing the police can do. The police can try, but they'll just release them out uh, within within 24 hours, and then that's the end of it. It's all doom and gloom. And it it is just what leads to all of this that causes the mayhem in California. And until these woke idiots and these fools wake up. They just serve their, their city and everything else to go ablaze because they refuse to fix anything. All right, guys, that's the latest video. Like, guys, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.